what should I call it? Eric Nom Noms in the kitchen. Hot out of tea. Let me eat and be. If there's one quote that can describe your life right now, what would it be? My life? Yes, vegan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just drooled thinking about my food. Mm. Hello, my name's Eric Dom. I am a singer and person, and like many of you probably right now, stuck at home with not much to do. So I thought, what can we do to pass the time? Well, I've always liked cooking. I haven't cooked in a long time because I just haven't. And so I used to be a good cook, but I don't think I'm a very good cook anymore. So I decided, how about we get back into cooking? And so today, we're gonna make some Korean food. To be honest, we made some yesterday, and then the files got deleted, and it made me really sad. So this is the second attempt, and hopefully the files don't get deleted. Today, what are we making? We're making some Korean food. My brother Brian is here, he's making all this noise. Yeah, so if you hear anything, hey Brian. Yeah, he's really just mu munching on those chips real good. Mom! Mom's not here. Mom! Get out of my house! Mom! Anyways, uh, to kick it off, you always need rice to have some kimchi jjigae. Kimchi jjigae is a hot, bubbling stew. And the main ingredient is kimchi, which is like a fermented, spicy, or sweet cabbage of sorts. So, we're gonna make some rice. I tend to just cook, cook everything by just eyeballing it, so, yeah, you, you know, we make do. General rule of thumb that I know of is you rinse this a few times, rinse the rice, you fill it up just so you have enough, just covering like, like your fingers just a little bit. And the other thing with cooking is there's no right answer. You just kind of cook and you figure it out and you do whatever suits your taste the best. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna figure it out. Anyways, I'm gonna wash it real quick, all right? We're gonna get water. This is oddly therapeutic. Always... All right, so here's an important note for today. As we're cooking, I rinse it a few times, and then on the one, one of the last times, I'm gonna save some of the water that we pour out because this is gonna be used for cooking later on. All right. Also, rice is also preference. You put more water, you get waterier rice, and you don't, and you get drier rice. So, anyways, I'm gonna turn this on. Now, kimchi jjigae. What do you need? What do you need? We need kimchi, we need some onion, we need some green onion, we need tofu. If you have pepper, not bell pepper, but like spicy pepper to give it a little kick. Uh, some garlic, pepper flakes, sesame oil, sugar, and kimchi juice from whatever the kimchi is coming in. And your meat protein of choice. I like tuna with my kimchi jjigae. So we're gonna use canned tuna. And uh, of course, some water. Anyways, this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna go really easy. We're gonna get kimchi, and then we're gonna get sesame oil, and some of the kimchi juice and we're gonna stir fry it together, all right? That becomes the base of the kimchi jjigae. And then we're going to put a little bit of sugar and we're gonna put the water all together. We're gonna let that boil up. And as it boils up, we're gonna add the other ingredients. So tofu, pepper, garlic, all that kind of stuff. And the very end, we're gonna put in the tuna and the green onion, right? And it sounds like a lot of ingredients. It kind of is. I feel like Korean cooking generally has a lot of ingredients, but We'll get through it, guys. I've never really cooked Korean food before. I'm not really good at it, but my friends found me some recipes. I don't know where they got them, but apparently they're good, so let's try it. So first off, I guess I should cut some kimchi, right? Again, guys, I'm figuring this out as we go as well. I'm gonna get all my base stuff ready first. Ooh, that's a lot of kimchi. Now you guys are probably asking, how much kimchi do we use? I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this bottom off. We use about one cup of kimchi for this stew, okay? Kimchi, you can eat like everything on the kimchi. I eat this too. Especially if you cook it up, like. All right, so this is, I'm gonna say it's a cup. I actually don't know. Kimchi juice, we're gonna use like, let's say some, some like, a couple spoons of kimchi juice. Kimchi juice is like, is like gold, you guys. If you ever have cream food, and like a jjigae or a tang, like sojong tang, like you need kimchi juice to make that stuff delicious. Just gonna, just gonna put them in here. Cause essentially this is all going in the same place, right? So, um, get some of this juice. 
Come on, give me that juice. Juice me, baby. So I'm gonna get a spoon of sugar, right? I'm gonna chop up some onions as well. I have my water and tuna on standby. I'm sure people are like, yo, he's like a really bad cook. You know what? I'm eating this and I'm okay with it. As long as it tastes good for me, I don't really care. So if you don't like this, go watch something else. All right? So uh, we're gonna save this for later, this chicken, because we're gonna make that chicken later, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some kimchi chicken. Turn the, the fire on. Honestly, I don't think the order is that important. We just do the basics, right, and we'll get it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in, ooh, this is warm. I'm gonna do a sesame oil first. I'm gonna do about a, a little more than a spoon. We'll be liberal. I did almost two spoons, because sesame oil is delicious. We just put the kimchi in with the kimchi juice. Look at that. Ooh, kimchi with kimchi juice. And we're going to just Hokai it, just stir it. We're gonna add the garlic, the onions, the sugar. I also love garlic, so I'm gonna do a, a spoon of garlic. Measured out sugar earlier, put the sugar in. And then put the onions in as well. I want the onions to get clear. Yeah, this already smells good. Honestly, like how can this not be good? Actually, it can be. It could be really bad, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Once we have the onions ripen up a little bit, or like cook through a little bit, and they're clear, not opaque, we're gonna add water. Remember that water that we had? This water. It's the rice water. I'd say two and a half cups of this water is fine. But like again, I make things up as I go because I'm not a chef, and I'm eating it. You're not eating. I'm eating it. So like. Dude, this is gonna be delicious. I can already tell. This is like one cup ish, two cup ish, two and a half, just about right. You can always add more water later if you need. So, I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna let it simmer. I'm also gonna add the tuna in now. Why not? So, this is, this is half a can from yesterday. Tuna is also really good with kimchi jjigae, so I'm gonna put in another can. I just saw yesterday this canned tuna. It's great because whenever I do canned food, I'm like terrified of cutting my hand open. But this is not metallic; it's aluminum, so like it's super easy to cut open or to pull open. Dump it in there, let it cook. Let it stew up in here. Oh, this is good. So I'm gonna let this simmer. As it simmers, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna cut some tofu, get the green onions, and the remainder of the ingredients ready, all right? So as our kimchi jjigae stews and it's bubbling over there, I have on a very low heat right now because I need to do this. Got tofu. So this is jjigae jubu, so this is like particularly for kimchi jjigae or, you know, hentang jjigae, hentang jjigae, it says soft on it. And I just... How do you like to cut your tofu? I have no preference, but I always like it a little bit thicker. There we go, five by four, 20 pieces of tofu. Got some green onion that we've already washed and had on hold from yesterday as well, so let's go ahead and... We have some Thai chilies here. I've never used Thai chilies before, but apparently they were really spicy. So I'm just gonna put a few in. Um, our tofu is ready. Our onions are ready. I'm just gonna throw the tofu in now. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, that looks delicious. It's stewing. Put the tofu in like that. And the onions go in. I'm scared of these peppers, but we'll put like, okay, we'll put three in. We're gonna put in red pepper 
powder. Again, adjust according to how much you like it, but all right, that might be too much. So I'm just gonna put some of it in now and I'll save the other for later. And I just kinda gently put everything in, stir it around a little bit. I'll try this real quick. Hopefully it's not horrible. Oh, that's good. Yo, I'm amazing at this. All right, I'm gonna let it stew over a little bit. That's gonna... In what? Is it ready? Go away! I'm gonna let it, uh... We're gonna let it, uh... I'm so hungry. Can you go away? I think I could actually add this thing. It's not that much, the remaining pepper. Likes this. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna show this to my mom. She's like, what? Uh, 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 uh. Well, I think this is pretty much done. I mean, you guys, once you make this once, you can like, I, when I make this, not that I have for the past 10 years, but when my mom used to make it, she would make a bunch and then we just like have it for a few days. You know, it's great with a bowl of rice. You have pantan side dishes, it's amazing. Um, but pretty much, you just kind of reheat it and you heat it and you just, it's good for a few days. So, man, can't wait to try this. All right. Yo, I made, I, I, Eric Nam, made this. That's delicious. That is delicious. Eddie, go away. Eddie, are you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? What's up, dude? I can't see, oh, there you are. Oh my gosh, save your mustache, bro. What is going on? What is quarantine doing to you? Quarantine, bro. Oh my gosh. Food looks great. Can I come over? Or are we, I guess I can. I just want you to look okay. at that. Can you smell that? What do you got, wait, is Rocky there? Rocky! Where's Rocky? Rocky? Hi, Rocky! Hey, Rocky. Rocky, look, Ro Rocky, look at me. Rocky! Rocky, look at me! Rocky! Rocky, love me! Hi, Rocky. He does not care. He does not care. What is that? I don't know what that is. I gotta go. Bye!